Welcome back to more GX Spirit Caller, everybody. This is episode 20 of the series, I believe. So, uh, in the end of the last episode, we triggered that cutscene, that event in in class, basically. And um, after you trigger that scene, what you then want to do is kill time until it's nighttime. And it's going to involve a lighthouse, which is why I'm not going to the lighthouse right now, because I don't want to glitch something of what I discovered last time. You know, so I'm just going like this, the old traditional way. And when it's nighttime, you simply head over to the lighthouse, and that should actually trigger the next the next thing. So let's go. I'm gonna enter. Let's see if this works. Yep, there we go. So you can do it on the same day that you get that lecture. Still has to regain consciousness. Hmm. That's true. Oh my god, what the hell's going on? There's a scream from the lighthouse. No shit, I'm, I'm, that, yeah, that's why I'm here. What, what, I'm, oh my god. What is that? Did we just get warped somewhere else again? I am Abidos the Third, one of the Shadow Riders. Okay. We have to win, Shiny. Why do I always, oh my god. Like, I know Zane already lost his key. But doesn't Alexa still have hers? Like... Why do I have to duel? Why can't Alexis do it? So far, I mean what? I mean, I've dueled, Zane dueled and lost, Bastion lo dueled and lost, Chaz, Alexis, Crowler... See, the thing is, Crowler actually lost to Camilla in the anime, but he never dueled her in the game here, so that part is actually different. Um, I'll start by summoning this Gemini Elf, I guess. That's all I got. I got in the back row, man. Copycat? Okay. That was an interesting first turn there. Hmm. I guess what I'll do is do smashing ground. I'm gonna summon Two Headed Behemoth in case I get destroyed. I at least get some monster recovery for next turn. Just to be safe here a little bit. Okay, I don't think I will, so that's good. 1900 and then 1500 with Twin Head of Behemoth. Alright, and turn. Okay, so that's the sarcophagus stuff, which is actually fine. Um, essentially, after you get all three, you can send all three to bring Spirit of the Pharaoh, which is... Not really a problem. I mean, he's probably going to summon him because I don't have any back of removal. But, oh well. Let's get rid of you plus Mechanical Chaser. Yeah, so all I can really do here is... Might be able to win, maybe. I guess I'm in Slate Warrior. And then use United We Stand. On Gemini Elf. Aw, oh, crap. Never mind. Not gonna win this turn. Alright, so I'm gonna have to rely on Mirror Force in that case. Alright, so let's go ahead and swing for an attack here. Let's attack with Gemini Elf. What is that? That is a Marshmallow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so I'll take a thousand. Which is actually fine, because if I... Yeah, that's fine, because next turn you're gonna summon Spirit of the Pharaoh. You're going to attack me. I can use Mirror Force. So it's fine, I think it's okay. Oh, really? That's okay, let's just use the Mirror Force. Yeah, so he didn't special summon any zombies because he has no freaking zombies in the graveyard, so... What the f... Oh man, that's not good. Damn it, I sure, I sure thought that I was going to be over right there, but it's not. Are you really going to summon another... Okay, I think this is really dumb of me. I'm playing really risky because if that face then is, in the rare case, a freaking Mirror Force, I'm going to lose this duel. Okay, it was a freaking Guardian Sphinx, okay. This is not good. This is not good, people. Oh my god. Because I'm only going to be able to brain control this thing. Shit, another one? Freaking another... What is going on? What the hell is this? Oh my god. I feel like this guy's not... E okay. Alright, you just give me the game. Thank you. 
Well, thank God. Because you would have honestly gotten me stuck, dude. If you just kept making your Guardian Sphinx go down into defense mode, I would have had literally no play at all. Because I can't bring control it until main phase 2 every turn, until I attack into it. Okay, actually, never mind. I, w I would have eventually won because of this. So, yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Because, like, basically, I would have attacked it one more time, main phase 2, use Smashing Ground, and that's game. But that would have had to be for the next turn. Maybe. I don't know. It might have still been a challenge because then you could have just freaking normal summon or set more zombies or something. I don't know. More monsters with floating effects. So it definitely would have delayed it and you could have probably brought out your spirit. Yeah. So actually, it would have still been a tough duel if you didn't make that tribute summon move, so... That's fine. Man, but you kind of got me there a little bit. That was a little tricky. One seventy-seven. All right. Good stuff. Down to fifteen hundred experience left for the next level. That was fun. The most fun I ever had. Okay. Oh, they always let you win, huh? <laughs> That's the same thing in the anime too. I remember. Okay. What now? Great job. I knew you would win. Respecting your opponent was key. Yeah. Of course. No problem. Whoa, it's time to go to dorm. Yeah, okay. Let's go to sleep again. Well, I guess I'll save again. Sure, why not? Alright, sleep time. Alright, so for the next scene, we have to basically wait until after class again. Like, pretty much 95% of the cutscenes in this freaking game. Let's just hope that we can ex trigger it. Like, I'm still anticipating for the time when the game is not going to let me progress anymore and I have to level up again. Because I haven't done this at all. I'm still level 15, as you can see. And I think it's this time now. I think it's finally this time. Maybe. I don't know. I can still give it another, like, you know, another go here. But I'm pretty sure that's it. And I was actually anticipating that to happen eventually. Um, but... Well, actually, hold on. Let me try something. Maybe for this one, from what I remember, that might not be the case. Let me enter. Oh my god! I actually can't progress. Never mind. The medical office is here. Atticus, when will you return to me, both body and mind? You miss him, but there's a way to get- What the f- Where the fuck did you come from? Come with me and I'll give Atticus back all his memories. Yeah, okay, so for this, Time, you actually literally have to find this option on the school by clicking on it. The game makes no indication at all, no hint, to do this. Which means if somebody does ne never looks up a walkthrough and never just goes into this for a long time, they could be stuck here for weeks. Man. Okay. So that was that. Now it's like, what the hell? Wait, do I not... Is there really nothing else there? No, right? Okay. I, w I want to make sure... Wanted to make sure on that. Alright, so back at the dorm we got another cutscene. I'm coming in. Wing Karibo's worried about something. Maybe there's something weird going on at school. He can't find a Lexus. Let's search. Okay. What the hell? Atticus. Tight. Tight 10. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, okay, let's save again. What we have to do now is kill time for night. Until it's night time. So... You know the drill. You know the drill, right? Gonna head all the way over here into the abandoned place. We gotta go into the abandoned dorm, the haunted dorm, whatever. And enter. Get a cutscene. Shiny, don't come in here. This is not the same Titan as before. So you realized I'm different. Alright, so yep, he's another Shadow Rider. Oh man. Wait. Did you already defeat Alex? I'm so confused. Okay. Whatever. Underworld Bark 2. Yeah, it's an improved deck here. Oh boy, let's see what happens.
All right, fantastic start with confiscation. That pretty much this is why confiscation is banned, man. This this can just generate you the game. Aside from you losing a card. Oh my God, Sing Zen Hu. Uh, let's see. So summon skull technically. What the fuck is this? So like one archer monster inside the field to activate this card. Your opponent also pays the same life points. Okay, that's not all bad. What if I get rid of like? If I get rid of Sangan, you might just be forced to summon Sing Zen Hu's technical. I'm gonna get rid of Sangan. So you have Breaker, Summon Skull, Sing Zen Hu, and that other weird ass thing. Um, let's. I got a plan. I'm gonna set Slate Warrior and set Ring of Destruction. That way, that'll force you to summon a monster. Even if it's Breaker, I can at least use it on the summon, so I won't technically lose the card. There's Breaker. The effect is activated, chain, yeah, whatever, let's do this. Alright, so I'm gonna lose that, that way I don't lose my monster. So the cards in your hand currently are Summon Skull, Sing Zen Hu, and Battle Scarred. I don't know the other card that you just drew. But you're gonna set one that's probably the Battle Scarred card. Ooh, and Zing Zen Hu, that's right. So that's both of those. Which is fine. I'm gonna flip my Slate Warrior for 2400 attack now. And then Summon Gemini Elf. Neither of those cards work. Battle Scar requires you to have an Archfiend monster. Sing Zen Hu requires me to have face down back row. So they're both useless right now. And I know you have a Summon Skull. I don't know what other cards you have in your hand though. Because you're going to have two cards that I don't know about on your turn. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to end turn. Oh my god. Shit. Okay, that not over yet. What the hell? Lajin? Did you really just do that? Oh my god. Alright, well at least I can attack that Lajin. That's fine. But I'm not gonna win this turn, obviously. Oh my god. That's amazing. Let's do Heavy Storm just to get rid of all the bullshit on your side of the field. And then some Enforce Raider. So now you're relying on top decking. I don't even know if you can do anything with one card in your hand. We'll see. They're down to exactly 2,000 life points, but I'm at 36. My god. Holy shit. That's a little scary. Um, okay, okay, I'll summon the weaker one. Just in case I do lose them both. But I need both. Attack. Freaking... What is that? What the hell is that? What? Okay, okay, wait a minute. What the fuck? Pay 500 left once I activate this card. Special summon one Archie monster card from your graveyard. This monster cannot be tributed under any conditions and is destroyed during the end. Okay, thank god. Thank god it's destroyed during the end. Freaking phase and turn. Alright, so it's gone. Alright, what you got now? Come on. Slate? Well, that's fine. That gives me the win. I'll lose 50. I'll crash into next turn, attack with the other Vorus Raider, and that's game. Or I could just summon Exile Force, I suppose. Or I could do United We Stand, you know what, just, just go with the Exile Force strategy. Let's do that. Tribute, destroy, bam. And swing for 19. Alright, Titan, you lost. I will say you prolonged the duel a fair amount there. Got some plays there that stalled, but... Okay. Alright, so I get another 180 experience. That's pretty good. Down to 1387 experience left for the next level. Pretty good stuff there. Alright, so... Titan has been defeated. Back to the Shadow Realm for you, yes. Definitely. You did it, Shiny. I'm so good, aren't I? Here's Atticus. My god. I was pulled into darkness when I faced horrible nightmares. Okay. The teacher was Professor Banner. Professor Banner? Oh my god. Shocker. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and ask Banner. But that's gonna be for tomorrow. We're gonna save. 
and sleep. It's morning, time to go to school. Why, yes it is. Yes, it is. Alright, so nothing's gonna happen at school here, but after class we are going to be told to go to the Chancellor's office more than likely. Let's see. Actually, I think we just have to go there. Hold on. Oh my god, no. I think we actually did reach the point. We reached the point, people. Where we... Where we can't do anything else. Um, but one thing I will say, though, is that... I haven't mentioned this. But by triggering that scene, we do unlock Alexis again as an opponent. Um, so we can go ahead and go back to dueling her. Because she was actually locked for a little while. Wait, here's Alexis. So... Yeah, she was locked for a little while, but now she's back. Um, we can also do a Crowler. I still haven't done a Crowler, and I do want to do that. So, I think what I'm going to do... ...is save. But yeah, I definitely have to level up, like, one more time, probably. So that's going to be for in between, then. I can't believe we did that much, though. Like, that's crazy. That we literally did that much story progression. One thing I want to do, is I want to come over here to see if I can find Crowler. That's Sadie, no. Hopefully I can find Crowler. That's Sadie again, are you freaking kidding me? Dude. What the hell, man. What. The hell. That's... nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not you. Where the fuck? Okay, there's nobody here. I want to get to Crowler, man. Apparently, I thought you could duel Crowler. Maybe you can't in this game. I don't know. I literally thought he was unlocked. That's what Walkthrough said. But again, by this point, I know I really shouldn't be relying on walkthroughs because they're so incorrect in this game. But I could have sworn you could have dueled this guy. But I guess that's not the case, man. Maybe he's just an incredibly rare opponent, which is also really shitty because, like, he's already a difficult opponent to register, I know that for a fact. Nobody there either. I have one more try here, I, I have an idea on what can possibly work. Whoops, no, 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 no don't save. Alright, so I'm just gonna give up on that, I'm not gonna show Crawler on screen if you can't even duel him in this game. I don't, I'm not, not entirely sure if you can, but it seems like you can't duel him in this game, so I was wrong. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go into reference room and do those last puzzles. I think there's five? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take care of all those. I'm, I, I still think you can do a crawler in this game. I, I, might, I might just be losing my mind. I don't know. Alright, so... Anyway, back to my puzzle guides here. So this one is... Oh, I didn't even see what the hell this is. So I'm going into my... You know... What the freaking hell? So you have... Oh my gosh. Well... So I have an ultimate offering. Silence Wars on level 5. Okay, we got this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to normal summon Fire Princess. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Pay 500 to summon Granadora. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this, Ultimate Offering. To bring out Skullmark Ladybug. There we go, and just burning you to death. I'm gonna do this one more time. And bring out this skull mark ladybug. Then I'm gonna do it again, actually, and so not yeah, one more one more time now for sure. I'm gonna bring out Guildford, the lightning. So what I have to do here is Well actually, do I really have to hold on? Because if I do.
Wait, so that's school more What the freaking hell? No, but I don't want to do that because... Hold on, if I attack Granadora to... Hold on a sec. No, I'm gonna... S I think that's all I have to do. Just that. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking here because this is actually a tough one for when I remember. So if... Because if I'm using... Okay, that'll do... Yes, okay. I did get it right. Okay. Cool. Because that's another minus 500. Enter battle phase. Null attack. You. With you. And that's it. Okay. That works. That worked. Alright, so the next one now is going to be... Cyber Crisis. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start by activating... Oh god, Snatch Fields are... Uh, Tribute to the Doomed. I'm gonna discard Luster Dragon 2 to destroy that. Alright, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and summon... Or sorry, not summon. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Amphibian Boost by tributing Cyber Dark Edge. Next up, I'm gonna do Monster Reincarnation. Discard Axe of Despair. And I'm gonna bring out Cyber Dark Edge back over here. Alright, next up is Pot of Generosity. To send both of these back into the deck. Next up is Future Fusion. Cyber Dark Dragon. Gotta do one, two, three, do that. And then Overload Fusion. For Cyber Dark Dragon. Choose one, two, three. Send them both. And this here will give me the game, because that's 1,000 plus 3,000 with plus White Dragon. It's going to be 4,000 there. And I will choose Blue Eyes White Dragon. There we go. Exactly. 41 plus 24 is 65. Exactly enough. Oh man. Crazy stuff there. Alright, so. Next up is Level Up. So for this one here, let's see, oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm going to start with the flip summon of Tsukuyomi. Select you. Okay. Next up is a Feather of the Phoenix. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my level modulation. Okay. And I'm going to choose Arm Dragon level 7 specifically. And return that to the deck. Okay. Um, next up. I guess that's a premature burial there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Premature burial. To bring out level 5. This is going to be followed by a level up. To send this. And bring out level 7. Alright, next up is another Fetter of the Phoenix. This time I'm going to discard my level up. 
Oh my god, I have a lot of targets here. So, what I have to actually do is bring out five. Because, now that it's there, I simply activate Upstar Goblin to get you. Then I go ahead and Tribute Summon Sukuyomi. And this is actually perfect, exactly enough to go for the win this turn. Because that's you, 24, Destroy Spell Counselor, and then Arm Dragon level 7 is going to go ahead and attack for 28. And that's it. That is literally it. Alright, so I believe I got two more puzzles to complete. Alright, so the next one is Path of Warriors. Let's do this. Alright, so for this one here, I'm gonna start by activating... Coffin Cellar. Then my Ring of Destruction here. I'm gonna get rid of Worm Drake. That'll deal 14 to both, not Summon Skull, because I'll take 25 and lose right away. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do Creature Swap. And Exchange. Summon. Activate the effect. There we go. Next up is this, you can only activate this one more monster, special summon to your side, got it. Inferno Reckless Summon. Okay, next up, it's going to be Delta Attacker. And I'm going to, so let's see, if I do that, I think that's going to be fine. Okay, enter battle phase. So I'm going to start by attacking directly with my Kajikosis. Yes. 15, 15, and 15, so that's going to be for 45 right there. And I can attack with you for another 15. And now I'm going to go ahead and attack Nidoria with my Summon Skull. That's under minus 13 right there. I'll lose a monster, but that's fine. Um, so... Oh, oh yeah, oh wait, wait, oh my god, no, never mind, dude. It's because it was mine. My bad. Jesus. Alright, so that's minus 300. Okay, perfect. And then main phase 2. And destroy that. And if I give control of like, I don't know, this. That's fine because that's minus 300. And that's game. Or that's puzzle, I should say. Yeah, that's definitely puzzle. Oh my gosh. Alright, so there's only one left. As you can see, each of these puzzles do take a pretty good amount of time. Like, oh my god. But this is actually the last intermediate puzzle of the game. After this, we only have advanced ones left, which are going to be um, being unlocked later, I'm guessing. Alright, so, oh my god, this one's not... Okay, alright, let's go ahead and start by activating Dimension Fusion here. Four. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out all four of my guys. It's gonna take forever. Avion, Bristinatrix, Blade Skater, and Etoil Fiber. Okay, so you got two Dark Magician Girls. Oh my god. Alright, Polymerization. So what I'm going to make, okay, so that's Etoil Cyber plus Blade Skater, so I'm going to go with this one. So we're going to send both of these. Alright, next up is Fusion Recovery, and I'm going to grab my 
Etol Cyber, and my Polymerization. And I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to go for Flame Wingman by sending these two. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and summon Etol Cyber. I'm going to do Miracle Fusion. I'm going to go with another Flame Wingman here, and this time banish both of these. Okay, and now it's time for the battle phase. Okay, just making sure I'm something alright. So all of these have exactly the same... What the freaking hell? Okay, that's all. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna attack with you. Okay. Look at that. Look at that damage there. Um, and then... So then if I attack with that... So wait, this effect is... Your opponent only controls two double the attack. Oh, hell yeah. That's how you do it. Okay, I got two. So I'll attack with that. So it's minus 2200. And then Flame Wing Man can go out and attack the last one. And that should be enough. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's enough. That's minus 100. And minus 2000. And then you get your attack effect plus 500. That's it. Okay. So now it's just time for the expert puzzles, which are 15 more puzzles, but I will be doing those when they get unlocked later. That's enough for this episode, though. So I'm going to grind off screen until I can reach that next thing of the game, you know? So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like it. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.